let's go for the third attempt uh, this time I, I will use this uh, Peltier element it will be producing the cold on, on this side and the heat on the other side and let's use it as a as a heat source for for the setup and then uh, go on with uh, measuring the temperatures uh, the idea is that maybe maybe this heat pipe kicks in at uh, at, at at larger temperatures maybe it's some large temperature heat pipe so I'm attaching the Peltier element and uh, turning on my laboratory power supply and we should be able to monitor this should be getting colder and okay we are getting somewhere 30 to 3 degrees let's wait till I don't know 50 degrees or 60 and, and then check this this heat pipe because at the moment it is just cold 20 24 degrees down there so what are we doing here 40 3 4 uh, it, it's running at at 3 amperes and uh, 20 volts so it's around it's around 60 watts similar to uh, similar to CPU okay if 50 degrees and we can see it takes quite a while to warm up the system I will take measurement when we reach say 60 degrees okay 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 great great we are there so it's yeah it's hot there as well it's hot here it's hot not that hot here and let's take measurement here oh no it's failing oh no I already know the outcome of this it's not heating up at all yeah it's decided this it's cold it's, it's just broken and this one it's hot it's actually hot it's hot to touch yeah so no it's totally decided this pipe is broken it's not working No, it's not working at all it's total failure okay let's call today I'm turning off the, uh, the PSU uh, the, the, the power supply oh yeah we got up to 70 degrees okay um, thank you for watching and uh, have great uh, great year thank you